Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Funtime Crafts 24 7. This is a let's make it video, and uh, what we're gonna make is something to put our. Um, I wanna make something to put my flowers from my Viani Creates a two tone spring potpourri swap. Um, these beautiful flowers, and what I've. I've uh, this is some of them. Um, the rest are in these. <laughs> um, and what I've uh, done is I've used my Totally Tomes. Um, gift box die set as well as the secret drawer add-on and i created these fun little uh book style boxes and um i created a uh, two of them with a brown base and uh, a bunch of the uh papers uh, textured papers i had in my stash um these are all tonic studios papers um the cardstock is stamps of life um i think it's at least a hundred pound weight um uh Anna Griffin matte gold and then uh yeah these are just all textured papers handmade papers that were in my stash from some kits um the monthly kits I got from Tonic Studios um and um so I made this as a cream one we're gonna make a cream one today uh let me show you what uh dyes and all that stuff you need but oh now look at how fun look at it looks like actually like if you set these all up they look like isn't that great they look like a a set of books sitting here look how beautiful they are and they even add the texture for like the spine uh let's see can you see that will it focus on it hold on i don't know if it'll get it oh darn it can you see it on this one? Oh yeah you can see it there but uh anyways it makes this great little um latch that goes around it it makes the spine it makes the the whole thing we did have to ad lib a few things but um as you can see uh they hold our flowers really nicely um the latch makes it to where the uh drawer doesn't uh push through and then if you just grab the drawer like that it works really nice and then you can either stand them up on your desk or you can actually just stack them up like they're a stack of vintage books and so this one has all my um yellow flowers and purple flowers in it uh from jackie these are jackie's uh these were from uh diane and these are from uh lisa and then these are from yvonne and um look how fun those are isn't that great i was gonna try to use um make something to where i could use them on the outside but then i was like but then i can't use them on my project so i just kept these you know real simple with the dyes and everything but let me show you what we're going to end up using so what what it is is it's this set right here this is a tonic studio set if you can't get it on their website you can get it at uh, craftyflare.com uh, and I'll put some links in the description for you but it's this right here the totally tomes gift box die set and uh, these are so fun and really easy to use um, and then it's also uh, with the uh, totally tomes secret drawer add-on die set uh, this one right here and uh, so what you need to do uh, to make these uh, boxes with the um, let me push these I don't want to um, ruin them so what you need to do is you need to for the you need your this is the secret one you need to cut two um for the base you need to cut two of these for your outside box this this creates the outside box we're going to do it together i've already cut everything out though uh you need to cut one of these for your spine uh you need to cut one of these with the inlay for the spine detailing uh like so uh, then you need to cut um, one of these uh, for the strap. Uh, one of this die here for the strap. This is the one that goes around there. Uh, you need to cut two of these um, panels out um, in your textured cardstock or your colored cardstock. And for this next one, we're going to use this fun... A tonic studios pearlescent green one uh you need to be aware too though it actually does an indentation uh there and so when you're using the die and you go to do the inlay uh for this panel here so you need two of this one here and then you need two with this decorative uh inlay here and it has try uh like a a clipped edge there that goes you have to make sure you put it with that there. And then it creates this awesome layered detail here. 
and so um, you need two of those. And then what you need is, uh, out of the regular set, you need... Let me put these back or I'll, I will um, lose them for sure. Okay, and so yeah, two of those, two of those, two of those, one of these, one of these, one of these. And then what you need is you need to cut out uh, two of this one here. And this is what creates the actual drawer. Um, and then... And then what you need to do is you need to cut, oh, okay, so then when you cut out the two of these, you need to use the inlay on it as well. And on one of the sides, so this is the die down, when you, you need to use the, the page um, texture insert, and it goes in this space right here like that these this side is longer than this side and then to get the texture on these two uh or not on these two on this side and this side because you're cutting two of these panels so only do it on one of these you're going to cut two of these out and only on one of these you only have to put it right here you only need texture on one panel on one of these just like that just one time then uh, what you want to do is separately, you're going to cut out, um, you're going to cut out a strip that is, oh, right here. You need a coordinating spine strip. So whatever you do your box base in, uh, you want a coordinating, um, page, um, of the one that looks like the, um, you know, the pages you need a three coordinating strips. So one strip is going to be one inch by four and three eighths inch. And you're just going to lay this right in the center. And this piece goes uh, down in the middle there to make it look like it's the pages in the spine. Um, if you don't put it in there, it actually looks a little bit janky. And that's why I added it. I didn't like how it looked. You don't have to, but when it's sitting there, you can see down in there because of the nice roundedness, the look of the book. Um, yeah, and you want to keep the look of the book rather than putting it flat because this is what makes it fun. So I would definitely suggest doing this. So one inch by four and three eighths. Then you need to cut two of these. And then all you do to get the texture on this one for the pages is you just put this right in the center of it, run it through your embossing. Or if you have the Empress, you just run it through like you would a die. Um, and that's all I did. And then you need two pieces that are one and sixteenths of an inch so just barely over an inch by three and seven eighths just shy of four inches and you need two of these pieces and how you get the texture on the whole piece like this and these are what goes on the top and then on the bottom to make it look like it's a book sitting there on the table they don't include these dies in this set i'm not sure why um they just don't uh so i wanted to make mine to make it look like the whole thing was a book um, and so what I did was, is, um, I'm going to show you how I did that. Um, so what I did, I took the strip after I cut it out. So one and a 16th by, uh, three and seven eighths, two of these, um, you're going to take this and what you're going to do is you're going to take this, that die and you're going to stick it on your cutting plate and you're just going to put this on the very edge and it doesn't matter if it's centered this way you just want to make sure that this edge is on the very edge of that like that see you can barely see that and it looks about even all the way down and you're going to run it through the machine it, if it's powered on <laughs> you gotta power it on <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and then what you want to do is take the die off and on here you can see that there's the lines they're actually straight on there and all I did was is I took this and I lined it up with the first one there like that um I I just did it while it was sitting on here like that and just continued it whoops
there like so. And then just ran it through like that. Aren't those so pretty? That intricate dye is just gorgeous. And then you get that little, um, you know, the little latch mechanism, the little wraparound latch there. It looks like it's like an actual book. Oh my gosh, I love that. And so then what you end up is with a piece like this. And then, um, so then what we're going to do is now we're going to put the, we're going to actually put it together now. And so, um, let me put that over there. And so what you want to do now is you want to make sure you have something really skinny. These are paint brushes. Um, and what it's to be able to run it down the spine, uh, to burnish that really good after we glue our pieces on. Uh, but we don't need that right now. You need some score tape. I'm using a quarter inch and an eighth. And then you also need some glue. Uh, if if you would prefer to glue it all together, um, there you go. I use score tape. I use the good stuff. This is the Souk Wang. And oh my heavens, when you burnish this down, I've never had any problems with it coming off. Um, you could also add glue if you wanted to. And then just allow the score tape to... Um, be whole your what's holding it together you know until your glue dries but um i didn't feel that it was necessary and i plan on using the drawers multiple times um so i i don't think i've and i've never had any problem with this score tape um i have had problems with other score tape but not this stuff so um it's your discretion whatever you want to use to put your box together um your book together and so all i'm doing is i'm taking the two panels um, that create the box, these two that have the, the tabs, and I'm just burnishing, folding and burnishing the score lines on both of them, uh, like so. I'm making sure that my edges line up with each edge, um, when I go to fold it down, uh, like that, like so. And then what we want to do is we want to go ahead and put our decorative panels together. And to do that, all I do is I take my 8th inch score tape and uh, I just apply it to the very edge and then in the center. And so I'm just going to run this around like so. If you get any, if like your um, inlay die is a little bit off um, and it's to like a little bit to one side or the other. When you put the score tape on, well, you could use glue if you wanted, if you didn't feel comfortable. Um, but if you use score tape, I found that after I peel the backer off, um, I can actually just push the score tape up above the little die cut area on the intricate portion. And uh, then you don't see it at all. Uh, the one thing you do want to be careful of when you're using score tape, though, is to make sure that it all lays nice and flat. Um, otherwise, if there's any bulge bulges in your score tape, it twists or, you know, kind of gets all janky, you will see it through the, um, uh, matte foil. It, it, it will show, um, it just be aware of that, you know. And then I just put three eighths inch pieces like that. Uh, we're going to do that to both of these, both of the pieces, because you have one for the front and one for the back. Um, and if you go, if it gets too long, like that piece is there, you can just fold it back on itself. And, you know, because it's a smooth fold over, you don't even notice it. And it's very small. Uh, anything in the middle, though, you definitely want to make sure it's all one one layer of tape because you, you will see that it's not. And you could have used the quarter inch in this area, but I was already using this, so I was like, well, no worries. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and peel these off. And adhere them to our panels. Take off all our little backers there. And this, I just, this is going to be so fun. They're just a perfect size for the flowers. And if you wanted to make a bunch of your own flowers to add with your collection of flowers, so you had a real nice stockpile of them, you could make, just make more books. 
and uh, fill them up. And you can get quite large flowers because I, I test fitted it. This was the largest one, like the thickest um, and largest flower out of the collection that I had gotten. And they fit, all those flowers fit in one book really nice. So um, you can fit a, a pretty nice size flower in them. Um, so even if you're doing like the heartfelt creations ones and on these, you want to be aware of where the little dimple is, um, the contoured portion. Um, so we're going to go like, so, and this lines up right to the edge, like so, and then give it a good press, press it down, make sure to burnish it with your finger really good. So it seals in there. I think the reason score tape doesn't hold is because it doesn't get burnished down very well, especially if you're using this stuff. That's that's the only reason it doesn't. I'm pretty sure it doesn't hold is because of that. Um, yeah, I, I man, once it gets burnished, I can never take it off. It always rips the paper, and yeah, it just pretty much annihilates it. Now I'm gonna glue this piece onto one of my panels now. And this cardstock here is probably, it's it's not very um, thick. And so just going to line it up uh, from the score line to the bottom, trying to keep it pretty centered as much as I can. I uh, used my art glitter glue to put this on here. And that stuff dries really nice. Uh, if you're using barely art glue, you might have to wait for a little longer because that has a bit of a longer uh, set time on it. Um... Let's see, we're going to do that. And this, take all the backers off. Uh, let's see. Yeah, these are so pretty. Look how fun that's going to look with those flowers in there. I tried to make one to kind of match or go with um, what I had in my Tonic Studios papers. Um, the texture on them just makes them look like they're real books. Oh, and I forgot. I should have, you know what I should have used on this if I was thinking about it? Was the um, new... Um, Sizzix texture paper, the texture roll. Oh man, I was thinking of uh, making these when I got that stuff and I completely forgot I had it and I had already started using the tonic stuff and then it was like, well, you want it to all match, you know, <laughs> and I didn't want to remake it everything. I, I might make one of these though, just to give it a, give it a try and see what it looks like, but I thought that would be really cool to make one of these out of the the uh, textural from Sizzix because that stuff is really neat and it looks like leather it it really looks like worn leather or you can make it look like worn leather it's really cool but this tonic paper all these textured tonic papers this is pearl paper but it's still from tonic studios so the colors all go well um uh that textured paper though is just over the top making it look like it's a leather bound book a vintage leather bound book. It's really cool. And then just trying to center it up from the emboss line to the bottom and right to left. I'm gonna hold it down, wait for the glue to set for a minute. And then what I want to do is um I want to go ahead and glue the two to these two panels together. Um what we're gonna do is we're going to put glue on this tab here. So you got uh, the so basically what this this is the front of your book and so then this is going to be like that is what we're going to end up doing but we're only going to do it on the um one and there's no right there's no direction for this it's the same it's a mirror top and bottom so you don't have to worry about direction on that and then all you're going to do is uh, make sure to line up this edge to this edge, these two to each one of those, and stay to that side of the embossed line. So when it folds, you know, you're not, it doesn't look jinky, and you're not having to fight that edge. Wait. Trying to get it as straight as possible. I got a bit over there, but that's okay. Yeah, that still looks good there. 
that's just fine. All right. Yeah, that still looks good. We're we're still good. See, that looks good. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to take uh, these two pieces that we cut. These are the 1 and a 16th by 3 and 7 eighths, and we want to glue these here and here. And you want to make sure the edges of these are glued down really, really well. Um... Because this is what's going to make it look like it's, you know, little pages. And so, yeah. So I'm just centering it between the two embossed lines and from end to end. Um, Hopefully yours fits like this to where it's like for all the way from one edge to the other. And so that way the page, um, the decoration of the page embossing goes all the way around and makes it look cohesive like a book. There. See, isn't that cool? <laughs> I think that's great. Yeah, that's going to be so neat. Yeah, see, like that. There, that looks cool. And now right here. That was probably a little too much glue there, but... Yep, center it between the two embossed lines and from from each side and then press it down real nice. Try not to get my grubby, gluey hands on it. <laughs> I got a little schmutz on that one. <laughs> and so now this is what this looks like. So it's going to be like that, but we're not going to do this one yet till we put our box together. So now the next step is to... Um, get our box, put our box together. So see, you have one with the um, page embossing in it. So we're going to do that one first. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that on this one, there is a, this first emboss line. That's actually where you're going to fold. That's the bottom of the box. And then you're just going to line up the edge with this edge. See, like that, to make sure you're square. And then you're going to go back and you're going to do the very top emboss line right there. And then make sure that this is square. I'm getting glue all, like glue remnants all over it. <laughs> uh, you guys know how it is with your crafting and you get glue everywhere. Oh, uh, that's funny. Get your schmutz everywhere. So same with this one. Make sure to line it up on the edge of the paper. Line it up. So you know you're straight. Well, as straight as can be, anyhow. Same with this one, lining it up. And folding that tab over. These are our little glue tabs. And you're going to fold these in. We're going to glue these two together. So this one's even easier. Because there's uh, no embossed detail on this one at all. So you're just literally folding and uh, pressing those score lines down. Making sure to still line it up, though. Still still making sure you're straight. Whoops. Like that. So just fold and burnish them all. Had to try to get some of that glue off. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to take... Um, pick which one looks the nicest. And... That one does. So we're going to put glue on the bottom of this one. So all your lines, your folds are up, right? So flip it over and put glue on that. So on the pretty side down here. Okay. And then, um, whoops. And then what you're going to do is you're going to press... You're going to line these uh, two edges up with those two embossed lines. And I try to hold the sides up and then push it all the way in. 
um, with these with these folded up like like that as much as I can and then press it down and then you can flip it over and make sure everything looks nice on the back you know and that looks pretty good to me so let's keep pressing that down making sure it's happy it's all secure burnished really good the glue gets set into the paper and all okay now what you want to do is you want to take and put glue on your tabs well on your first tab and we're going to glue the two the side tabs to the sides now and so what you're going to do is you're going to take this edge and line it up with that corner and you're going to line it up making sure that you're right to the very edge like that and then you just want to press and hold that and I turn it over and put it on the table and press it on the table like that I know I'm going pretty fast sorry about that guys I was trying to make this video a bit shorter so hopefully it'll take <laughs> I'm trying to I haven't got a new phone yet and uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get one this week or not so I was I wanted to make this uh, project and so I thought well maybe I could make a short video of this project and when you do the next tab you want to hold this top corner as well um, you know just kind of holding it together because it has a propensity to want to like bend out um, while you're pressing this one um, so just while that this one's you know each of these are setting up you can help this one um, and so now we're going to put more glue on this one. And so you're just going to go around and hold all these in. See like that, line them up, make sure they're straight and then press it on the table. And then before you do the last one, you want to make sure that your box is square. So set it on the table and make sure it sits flat. And if not, you can kind of, you know, bend it and wiggle it till it's flat and then glue your last tab together. So like that, let's see, so like that, so now once, so once I get this, I think I'm going to, it's going to be pretty good. So let me put the glue on here. Yeah, hopefully I can get a phone this week, hopefully. So there we go. Just making sure it's flat on the table, you know, a square on the table. And then, um. Flip it over, press it down. Oh, whoops. Hold this one. And then what you want to do is, since this one's already started in, I'm going to put glue down here. Making sure I put glue on that tab that we glued down. A fair amount of glue. Because then we're going to press this in. You want a fair amount of glue on the sides. Um, a little bit towards the bottom. Because you don't want it to ooze out, you know. And then uh, a fair amount up at this top edge here. The folded edge there. And then what I do is I take my uh, bone folder. And I just kind of crease the side really good. Then I press it down into the box. You know, holding both corners. I'm like holding, got my hand on the back of the corner there. And pressing into the corner like that. Uh, on both sides. And if glue comes out, it's okay. Um, it'll it'll dry clear. Uh, I Sometimes I use my bone folder and like grab a little out if I can. And so now that this one has a, a propensity to want to go in, we're going to go ahead and let it do its thing. Making sure to put enough glue, you know, a fair amount of glue on the tab. Uh, go up towards that top folded edge. A little bit down at the bottom, not too much. And then this is our um, decorative panel. So I'm going to press it down to secure it, but I'm not going to do too much burnishing on this one. Other than on the very edge, I'm going to give it a bit of a crease. Can you see that? Like that with the bone folder. But other than that, I'm just going to like make sure this corners are secure. Oh, see, I got a little bit of glue. I'll get that out of there. I'm making sure the corners are secure. I'm not pressing too tight, just making sure to firmly make sure the um, paper's making contact so it's going down. That's it. That's all I'm doing. And then I'm just kind of lightly go over the middle. But I don't want to flatten out my beautiful decorative embossed panel there. Um, 
Yeah. So if you find it's tweaked a little, just give it a bend and then gently push your other ones in. So let's go ahead and finish up these flaps. Making sure to get my tab glue on my tabs. Putting glue there. Making sure I got enough at the um uh fold there. Push it down. And these are the plain ones, so we can burnish these down really good. Making sure to press into the corner. Oh here. Burnish this edge. Press into the corner. If you get glue, just, you know, help it out. Try not to get it on your box, though. Ugh. Or you'll get schmutz everywhere. There we go. There we go. Get the glue off my bone folder. <laughs> Last one. So a little bit more, making sure we get it on the tab, on the fold. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, yeah, that's that's square. Nice. Burnish the corner. Burnish the corner. Burnish the edge in the middle. Golden. Done. Okay, so now what we want to do is... We want to take and um, make our box wrap. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this over one side. And the tab the, the tab that we're going to glue, when you, you put the box on one decorative panel, wrap the rest of the um, outside cover around, and then put your tab, fold your tab up over the end on the back. You're, so that way it gives you something to press against. Uh, if you do it this way, then it, it's a little bit hard to make sure it's straight. So I do it on the back. So fold this up over the back. And then um, put glue. Well, normally I actually test fit it to see where it's going to be. So I kind of know where I'm going to head for. So that looks pretty good there. Um, yeah, I, I really like how that looks. So I'm going to go ahead and put glue on the tab then. You know, you kind of make sure that everything's copacetic and looks good. Um, so then get that box back in there. Get this back on there. Make sure it's square. Make sure you're even on each of your corners there. Get your glue off there before it dries or makes anything look janky. And then uh, I go ahead at this point and push my drawer out. And, uh, and then flip that tab to the table and burnish it really good with my bone folder. Whoops. My, the flat part. You're just running it in there over that tab like that. Like that. And now we can test fit it again. Ta-da! Look at that. We love it. So um, I have mine stacked this way. Which means that this is going to be the top of the box. And so now what we want to do is we want to take and we want to... I put score tape on this. Um, and the reason I do that on the gold is because um, the um, I find that the glue actually shows through when you put it on. So I don't, I don't like to see the glue lines. So I'm just going to use score tape. And then I'm also going to put a couple pieces down here. Um, like so. And then take this off. And then make sure to go wrap that around so it's not on the front side, you know. Uh, take this off as well. You want to make sure not to get your um glue or your glue or your tape past that second embossing line. This one here, you don't want to get it past that because I can't remember where that ends up. It's just barely on the other side. So now this side goes on the front. So where are we at? So the front of your box is actually where the embossed page line or uh, the page detail is. So you're gonna take that and you're gonna line it up like this on the middle of this emblem if you have that if you used 
this decorative panel, this actually lines up in the center of here and then lines up with the embossed lines to go all the way around. Um, if you didn't, um, I would say mark center and then mark, mark an X and stick it in the center. And so I'm just lightly pressing that down. Then I'm just going to gently... I, I pushed my box in so the edge was under this edge here. The edge of my box was under this one. So then when I wrap it around, you want to be gentle. You don't want to put too much pressure on it. Um, because you don't want it to squeeze in and look funky. You just want it to be the same width. And so then you're just going to press. So then it doesn't bulge it and make it look funny. It looks like that. And so now what I want to do is I want to pull my drawer out and then put this on the table and then burnish both sides. So just run it in the center because that's where the um your pretty latch detail is. And then I'm just pressing really good uh, with my square end. You can use a ruler or anything like that to do this. And then you want to flip it over and get that piece. So just go head towards the center of your buckle and then press it there on that back edge, making sure to just burnish it really good. And so that way it stays and it doesn't, you know, come off. And so what this does is it doesn't, it allows you to have a stop for your drawer. So it doesn't keep going, it doesn't keep going out the other side and you're always fighting that. Oh, whoops. <laughs> it's backwards. <laughs> so, whoops. So there you go. Boom. Isn't that cool? Almost done. Almost done. So now we just have to do our spine. And to do the spine, you got to take the drawer out. Uh, what you want to do is you want to... Okay, so actually, hold on. There's actually two score lines on this spine. How this is actually supposed to work is you fold the first one, like you fold this first one, and you fold the second one. Like this. Um, like that. And so what happens is, and then when you press it, when you press it down, what happens is when you stick it onto the edge of your box, it's supposed to have kind of a little, I don't know, 16th of an inch that goes up and squares the side like that. I didn't like how that looked. So what I did was, is I just folded it all flat. I, I didn't like it. So I just... I just made it to where it was a flat tab. And so then what you do is, whoops, oh man. Oh yeah, that looks good. That still looks good. We'll be fine. Don't worry. So then what you do is you want to take this spine piece and, um, oh, you want to actually run it over the side of something. Uh, whether you take your bone folder and you do it in your palm what I did was is I actually curled it on the edge of the table um I have a, a rounded edge and so I just yeah. took it and ran it over yeah. I don't know if you can see uh here can you see here I just ran it like this over the edge whoops well not there oh, I just ripped that darn it it was getting more anyways but just like this you just run it and, and curl it, flip it over, run it on the edge and curl it and form it. And then um, just kind of then after that, I just kind of help it wrap it around my finger a little bit, trying not to crease it. The object is to round it and not crease it. And so then what you want to do is you want to, um, you want to take your decorative panel and I put mine to where this little emblem was up. So whatever side I wanted to be, I just kind of eyed and looked. Oh, this looks good. I like this side. There's less little jinky, creasy things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this the top, flip it over, and I want to put score tape on this as well. Like a so. And then in between all these pieces here, so in between all these as well, like so, and then at the top too, making sure not to go over the edge of it, you know, and then just press those down, 
Uh, make sure your orientation's proper, though, when you go to put this on, you know? Like that. Turn it back over. We got proper orientation. Where are you guys at? There you go. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to center this up. And then I just, whoops, I just centered mine up top to bottom and side to side in between the embossed lines. Whoops. Oh, man, it sticked to my finger. <laughs> yep. And then you're just going to press it in. Press it down. Press it down. Press it down. Like so. Press it down. Press it down. And then go back and round. Um, just kind of just gently over your finger, pressing your finger into the back of it, um, helping the roundedness of your finger to round that gold panel on there. And even if you had a little bit of a crease on it, it I found that it didn't it didn't matter. Like see, you don't even notice that now. Easy peasy. So now what you want to do is this is where I took my quarter inch score tape and I just put it down here. Now it won't fit. You have to use eighth if you end up making those edges. But since I'm not using those, I'm going to run it as close to that embossed line as I can. Like so. Like so. Like that. And then take those off. Make sure to wrap that um, score tape around. Like I press it down first and then wrap that over like that. And you're not going to see that. That's going to be on the inside. So fold that down. Wrap that over. So fold that down. Wrap that over. Making sure I'm not going over my embossed line. And then you're just going to gently fold those back in. And then make sure orientation, this is the top. So since that is the embossed edge, the top of my box then is going to be here. And so what you do is you line this up with this edge here. And then you want to make sure you're centered here and here. So I'm just going to... get as close to that edge as I possibly can and then I'm gonna run my finger I got it on both sides and I'm just pinching it and and just holding it and pressing it down really good as tight as I can squeeze my fingers squeeze 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 press it press it like that and now what you're gonna do is because this piece is wider than this piece that's where you're going to get the roundedness. So what you're going to do is, since you already helped it to be rounded, you're going to take this edge and stick it on this edge. But be very gentle. Whoops. Like so. And if you can just get a little piece... Like that. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Oh, come on. Hold the flap out. There, lined it up at the edge like that. And then this is where you want your, um, whoops. Oops, whoops, whoops. I didn't press it down yet. There. This is where you want this. So then if you get it in the spot you want it, give it a press with the, um, and what helps is if you put it on your fingers like that. I didn't go all the way down so I can finish pushing this in like that. See, you can press it down to meet the edge. And then once you get it there, then run this in here. And then put your fingers on the back. And then run that paintbrush on the edge of your fingers. And so then once you get it mostly, then you can go the full length. Make sure your fingers are behind it, though. And then um, do it on the other side, too, if you can like that and then this is what I see this is what I didn't like when this was supposed to be the end 
um, like this was finished. So then you kind of like that. This is this is what they considered finished. And I didn't like that you could see that in there. And that's why we made this decorative piece here with the embossed page detail. Because, you know, on like regular book spines, you can actually see that. Like it, the page is actually down in there. You can actually see the little signatures that they do on vintage books. And so I thought that's actually what that looked like. Plus the glue helps to hold this spine edge on as well. So let's go ahead and uh, run that. Uh, put some glue on here. And this is the inch by four and three eighths one. And you might have to on each of the, these ones that I gave you dimensions on, depending on how your box folds, you might end up having to um, alter it just a tad. Um, it maybe make it a little bit longer or maybe even shorten it up. I would guess you might have to shorten it up actually. Um, or make it narrower or something. So then you just slide that in there. And then I just make sure that I'm even, you know. And then I take my paintbrush again. And I, I run it in there. But this, I just kind of go over. Put my fingers on the back side of that. And then um, that, like that. And then what I do is this uh, tip of my bone folder, I press the edge really good holding it, you know, pressing it onto my finger there. And then, um, yeah, do the other side. Into the corner if you can. And isn't that great? Isn't that much nicer? I think that just makes such a cleaner, a cleaner look. And then there is your book. So now let's pop this in. And so here is our book. Isn't that great? Oh. Oh, it's oh it's down a little. Hold on. What is? I I probably need to put some glue on there. Sometimes you have to go back and add just a touch of glue. No. Oh, it uh maybe it just needed manipulated in. Why does it look like that? Oh, did I not get it? Oh, I might not have got my tab. Oh, I, I think I might. I don't think I got my tab. Oh, maybe it wasn't pressed in all the way. No. No. No, but that looks cool, doesn't it? Isn't that neat? Yeah, look how neat that is. It looks just like a book, doesn't it? That is so cool. But anyhow, yeah, so that's it right there. Isn't that neat? And then we could put our flowers in it. Isn't that just gorgeous? Yeah. So now let's pop all these in. So I want to put my tag in from who gave them to me. And then I want to put all my leaves in. Um, Let's see. Get these all. Um, And then that way these will be super ready to use. They'll be awesome. Stack my... Uh, large flowers in there first like that put the second largest ones in there because uh, those are probably the heaviest then stack uh, these in here wherever they're gonna fit you know and then pop these in trying to turn them to where they won't get hurt you know and all that and then ta-da and then bam whoops wait I heard that. Might have to restack them or something to where they're there. Maybe like that. Let's see how that does. Nope. Don't crush them. They're too pretty. I had these in here earlier. That You can't press them down. You have to make sure the drawer closes because you don't want to crush them. Awesome. See, look at that. That worked. Isn't that great? And that, that's so pretty. So pretty. So there we go there. There's our little totally tomes. Or no, I'm actually thinking I got this crooked. I think my box is crooked. No, I think I got this one crooked. Do I need to remake that? OMG. Uh, something's off. Something about my box is crooked, I think. Oh, anyhow... 
Anyhow, yeah, that's what it, that's what it looks like. Like that, like that, like so. Drawer full of beautiful flowers. How can you go wrong with that? Seriously, not bad. And then you can either set them up or you can stack them. Honestly, all I did all three, all three of these off camera and none of them got cattywampus like that. So I think I'm going to have to, I don't know what I did. I'm not sure how I got that. All three of these are all made exactly the same though. It's like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure what I did there. These, all three of these, all three of these other ones are made exactly like that one. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know what I did. But I was actually going to stack mine. Actually, I was going to go that way. Then like this. Then like this. Then like that. Yeah, I don't know what I did. Alright, okay. We can't we can't fret about this. I'm just going to make another one off camera. Alright, well that was the gist of it, guys. Ugh. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully it uploads. And um, hopefully you guys have a fantastic week. I hope you enjoyed this project with me. Um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys again. I'll check back in with you again soon. Uh, crafting, obviously. You know, we'll be crafting. <laughs> hopefully we can be crafting soon. Until next time, happy crafting. Thanks for hanging out. Bye-bye.